Among the unsung heroes of the holiday season have been nonprofits that have fed thousands of people all across our region. But this year brought challenges unlike in the past. Aziza Scholler shares the uncertainty that food banks face as costs climb and donations mm. drop. Chosen 300 Ministries, which serves 2,100 meals every week throughout the Delaware Valley, is up against a daunting demand. The need is growing because there are so many people that are struggling now that weren't struggling before. Executive Director Brian Jenkins says many see the organization as doing God's work. But it's becoming more challenging given food insecurity spiked 47 percent in Pennsylvania in 2021, according to the U.S. Census. It's not that they are dirt poor yet, but they're like, okay, I can't afford all the electric bills, the food costs, and everything else I'm trying to accomplish. I need something to help supplement just so I can get by. But as 2023 approaches, Jenkins says he's faced with uncertainty, with just four days left to meet a $19,000 end of year deficit. The organization is depending on donations. Even with grants, Jenkins says it's still not enough to cover what they've spent given inflation reached a 40 year high. If you're a family trying to make it on your own. Sometimes you question, do I make that donation now or do I hold back? to make sure my family is secure. Food assistance programs everywhere are struggling. Last year, Phil Abundance, the tri-state region's leading hunger relief agency, reported a 3% decrease in donations. Meanwhile, they're serving 55% more people. In South Jersey, food banks are serving more than 120,000 households a month. This one was for 300. Chosen 300 is hoping by spreading the word, more people will be inspired to give. That's part of our humanity is that we have to be able to care about somebody else who's less fortunate than ourselves. Aziza Schuler, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Continue to spread the word.